go. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Hello everyone, my name is Ugo and I'm a program director here at Friendly House. My job, like Friendly House's mission, is to build community. You may have seen me putting together large community events like our Pride Party, our Day of the Dead Festival, and our Winter Community Celebration. And I'm Joy Pearson, our volunteer manager, and every year we throw a big winter party. And last year's went great. We had a good time and got to remind each other of what a treasure we have in our community that we've built here. But this year is a little different. Because of the pandemic, we just can't get together in person yet. But we had a good idea. What if we brought together some of our community members to bring the party to you? So, without further ado, we would like to introduce you to our first friend, Red Yarn. Hello, my friendly house friends. It's me, your old buddy, Red Yarn. Howdy, howdy. I'm just here to wish you a happy holidays and to sing a few wintertime folk songs for you. Sound good? Y'all know Over the River and Through the Woods? Here's how it goes. Horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through the cold and drifted snow. Over the river and through the woods, oh how the wind does blow. It stings my toes and bites my nose as over the ground we go. Over the river and through the woods, to have a first rate play. Yard gate. We always seem to go extremely slow, and it's so hard to wait. Over the river and through the woods, now grandmother's cap I spy. Hooray for fun is the pudding done. Hooray for pumpkin pie. Hooray for fun is the pudding done. gray outside sometimes all you need is to read something beautiful to lift your spirits right now to read us something beautiful is Oregon's poet laureate Anis Majgani a thought that in just a handful of days will be at the longest night of the year the solstice in Iran known as Shaba Yalda and so while there's still so much of winter to go through Soon we will begin our ascent towards spring. After the purpling of the apricots came, and during these cold days built of winter sun, I talk via letters punched into a phone with Jordan, on whose parents' floor the summer before starting college, I and Jeff woke upon one Sunday morning after cramming our faces with the night before scoops out of the five pound cheesecake he had made in a round tin and had taken to make many that whole summer long, and then spent that weird Sunday moving all day long furniture for a stranger named Honey. New Orleans can be a strange city at times, and Jordan and I talk 
about the interviews we recently have had for a reality show about high school musicals, for life can be a strange city at times, and we talk about our production of The Wiz, both of us with one black parent and neither of us looking such, and we talk about Jeff, he being gone, and gone by his choice, or maybe not, as in, how much choice do we actually have when the dark-fisted flower grows inside the skull until we must rent it out? But that is a different poem, or not really, but it is. Siza is in my ear singing, and Jordan then sends me a picture of her child in her arms alive in this world, only just this past month, new, and with a middle name, named after that which comes back to us out of the emptiness after we fall into it. And I ask her, is your heart full? And as I wait for my echo to become her answer, my coffee cup is sipped. It is always full either with coffee or with emptiness or some ratio of both. And I put another SZA song on and Jordan returns with a yes of enthusiasm today on the longest night of the year. Shaba Yalda, and as my family is in another state, and my father no longer a boy in Iran, shortly I will go buy a watermelon to slice and a pomegranate to break underwater with non-Persians while we trade records off the needle and smiles off our hearts, and tomorrow we, all the we, will have made it out from under the gaze of heaven's evil twin, and only by doing what humans forget we do best, gathering together in dark to laugh, to eat, splitting sweet fruits given to us by this earth that loves us still in spite of that which we forget, that of which what we do best, gathering inside one another so that we might, from under the longness that will always come, come back out. You know what sounds really nice to me right now, Ugo? What? A little more music. Give it up for Red Yarn. Hello again, friends. Red Yarn here. Let's sing another one. Y'all know Jingle Bells, right? Of course. Here we go. Dashing through the snow In a one-horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Ha, 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 bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse open sleigh Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride and soon Miss Fanny Bright oh, was sitting by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed our lot. Oh, we got into a snowy bank and then we were upside. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. A jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Woohoo, jingle bells more important than ever that we take care of ourselves and practice self-care. Here, talking about some strategies on self-care and how to deal with the winter blues is our friend and community member, Dinah Gilbert. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm so pleased to be part of this winter special from Friendly House. I'm Dinah Gilbert, a licensed clinical social worker, and I'll be sharing some strategies to help you manage stress during this very challenging time as a result of the pandemic and also along with managing the winter blues or the winter blots, because we are in winter now and the days are colder, darker, and shorter. And many of us experience 
a mood shift. And this mood shift is different from a severe type of depression called seasonal affective disorder, which is a recurrent type of depression associated with the change in seasons. SAD, as it is known, shows up during the fall and winter months when there's fewer hours of sunlight, but it usually subsides toward the spring. To be diagnosed with SAD, an individual needs to meet a full criteria for major depression and be evaluated by a mental health professional or a health provider. So my focus today is on self-care in managing the mild winter blues combined with the ongoing stress from the impact of the pandemic and the upcoming holiday season. So how do we practice self-care and focus on the positive in order to support our health and well-being? So I'd like to offer some thoughts and ideas and practices that I hope will be helpful, knowing that we are all unique with different needs. And practicing self-care is not a one-size-fits-all. So feel free to modify what I say and make it work for you. My focus is going to be on what we can control during these days of uncertainty. So I'm going to start by having us think about our physical surroundings, because many of us are spending a lot of time at home, either by ourselves or with family. But home has become, it's become our haven, a refuge, a sanctuary. It's a safety net from all the chaos that comes from the outside world. Your surroundings affect your mood. So creating an environment that is uncluttered is a clearing for your mind and it creates space for order and allows you to bring in joy. As you move into the holiday season, you may think about setting up an area that has a feeling of warmth and coziness. It may include scented candles, like the smell of cedar, decorative lights, pillows, throws, blankets, plants, music, whatever helps you to elevate your mood and energy. Being mindful of our mental and physical well-being is a self-care practice in and of itself. With a routine of exercise, we pay close attention to our well-being. Also, a regular dose of nature, being outdoors, being active, connecting with nature by using your senses for a multi-sensory experience. This sounds so basic and so simple, and yet it is so profound to use your eyes and your ears to see and to listen to birds, taking in the smell of trees, of bushes, of plants, and for some people, hugging a tree as a way to feel connected and to be at one with nature. Recently, I read an article that in Iceland, the Forestry Service thought about how to help people overcome their sense of isolation that was brought about by the coronavirus. They started clearing snow to let people visit the trees to give them hugs. Another important component of self-care is reaching out and creating social connections via FaceTime, Zoom, if you have access to the internet or by connecting by using the phone, scheduling daily or weekly calls for check-in, for happy hour, for dinner, for dancing, especially with New Year's Eve approaching, planning to get dressed up if that's your thing, or a movie night with a friend and a bowl of popcorn on FaceTime or Zoom. There are many courses, workshops, speakers, that are free online if, once again, you have access to the internet, as well as connecting to others by finding groups with like-minded people who share your interests. 
If you are unable to socially connect, there are agencies and organizations called Friendly Callers. They are volunteers who will contact you by phone and check in to see how you are doing. Now I want to shift to two practices that will help you counteract the harmful effects of stress. The first is a simple method of using your breath to feel calm and to feel grounded. So you breathe in through your nose and you breathe out through your mouth. This method may be familiar to you and I invite you right now to join me as we practice taking three breaths in and three breaths out. And you can stand or sit with your eyes open or closed. And if you are sitting, you may choose to get into a comfortable position with your legs uncrossed flat on the ground, your palms face down on your thighs. And now start to take a breath in through your nose and breathe out either through your nose or your mouth. We're gonna do two more, breathing in and out and in and out. And you can extend this up to 20 minutes and make this part of your daily practice. This will help you to feel calmer and more relaxed. I wanna make one more suggestion. This is a practice that is one of my favorites. It's the practice of gratitude. This is about being grateful and appreciative for all of the positive in our lives. It's about what we have, not about what we don't have. This is about recognizing what we are grateful for every day. As we interact with others, what makes us feel good? What are some of the simple acts of kindness initiated by us or how we receive kindness from others. Gratitude teaches us that even in times of darkness, there is goodness. We can see the light. Showing gratitude helps us to think about what is meaningful or what was meaningful during the course of our day. And if you want to experience those feel good feelings at the end of the day, you can write down three things that you're grateful for, especially before you go off to sleep. This will elevate your mood and just make you feel happier. These two practices also can be modified and taught to children. I wanna end with a poem by John O'Donohue, a Celtics philosopher and poet that has so much meaning, I think, for the times that we are living in right now. And I quote, let there be an opening into the quiet that lies beneath the chaos where you find the peace you did not think possible and see what shimmers within the storm. And I want to read that one more time. Let there be an opening into the quiet that lies beneath the chaos where you find the peace you did not think possible and see what shimmers within the storm. And my hope for all of you during these days of uncertainty is that you find an opening in your quiet space and you find peace beneath all the chaos. Thank you. During the last eight months, pet adoption has been at an all-time high, which is great news for those pets. Let's take a look at some of the great work a local nonprofit is doing. Which has been around over 20 years. 
We are an all-volunteer organization, and we are a no-kill, free roam, and one of the only shelters in the area with facilities for female and female positive cows. Pussy cat. shelter we have cleaners, feeders, groomers, and socializers to give the cats extra attention with playtime and pampering. Here's one last sweet old folk song from the African American spiritual tradition. This song is good all times of year, but especially in the winter time when, when the sky gets dark so early and it's kind of cold and dark outside, we need to let our lights shine extra bright. You'll notice how so many of the winter holidays um, have lights, decorate with lights to give us light during these dark winter months. So I want all of you to hold up one finger like this, pretend like it's a little candle, and that candle can be all the love in your heart, all the brilliant ideas in your brain, all the hope and joy and creativity you got inside you. Hold it up, rock it back and forth, and let's think, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. How about all around the world? Make a big circle with your finger. Here we go. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Think of someone you love and imagine you're giving them a great big hug. Mm, we'll say, with the ones I love. With the ones I love, I'm gonna let it shine. With the ones I love, I'm gonna let it shine. With the ones I love, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let's do a kind of silly one. Put your finger up like this, cover it up with the other hand like this, and we'll say, hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Let's all put both hands up like bright stars in the winter night. And in beautiful big voices, we'll sing this little light of mine one more time. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it 
shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. on letting those bright lights shine through these winter months uh thanks for watching y'all good to see you <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight we hope you had as much fun watching as we did putting this together as i said before this year is obviously different but we hope you are able to join us in person next year for our annual winter community celebration please take care and be friendly Through the snow in a one horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Ha 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 bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight Oh jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open.